ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் திருவரங்கத்து அமுதனார் இஸ் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆச்சாரியா இனவர் ஆச்சாரிய பரம்பரா லெட் அஸ் சி ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் குளோரிஸ் அ லிட்டில் பிட் ஹி வாஸ் பார்ன் இன் ஸ்ரீரங்கம் ஹிஸ் திருநக்ஷத்திரம் இஸ் Panguni Hastam He was known as Periya Koyal Nambi He was the official administrator of Sri Rangam Temple and he was also doing Purohitya Kainkaryam for Periya Perumal This Kainkaryam involves reciting Puranam Vedam and so on in front of Periya Perumal and Namperumal in Sri Rangam. He was the administrator in Sri Rangam temple when Emberumanar Ramanuja was crowned as Udayavar, the lord of both spiritual realm Paramapadam and material realm Samsaram. Emberumanar Ramanuja was given the huge task of reforming the Sri Rangam temple and many other Divideshwam temples by Bhagavan himself. He was instrumental in organizing the temple rituals in proper way in the Divideshwams and temples. is greatly celebrated for that but in sri rangam itself when embermanar started reforming the temple activities peri koyal nambi was not favorable towards those reformations embermanar decided that he will remove peri koyal nambi from his position but while embermanar was waiting for a prapad procession of nambermal nambermal appears in embermanar's dream and highlights that periya koyal nambi is a dear devotee of him seeing that embermanar changes his mind he decides to first reform periya koyal nambi with the help of kura talwan embermanar engages with periya koyal nambi and slowly brings him in line with his principles kura talwan being a great devotee of bhagavan and a great disciple of embermanar soon brings in wonderful change in the mind of periya koyal nambi periya koyal nambi understands the importance of embermanar and embermanar's greatness he develops great love and respect for embermanar by the grace of kura talwan finally he becomes fully surrendered to embermanar embermanar asks kura talwan to be the acharya for periya koyal nambi and due to periya koyal nambi's great command over the tamil language and sanskritam language and his ability to write very sweet poems he was named as amudanar by embermanar himself amudam means amrutham nectar as perikoyil nambi's words and his poems are so sweet he got the name amudanar though he had become the disciple of kura talwan amudanar still did not hand over the full control of the temple to embermanar 
there was something stopping him. So Emberamanar was also waiting for a good opportunity to get the full control of the temple so that the temple can be reformed as per the desires of Periya Peramal. At this juncture, Amudana's mother attains Acharyan Thiruvadi, that is, she ascends to Paramapadam. As part of the final rites, on the eleventh day, a ceremony named Ekotishtam is performed. A person is assumed to be the body of the deceased person and this person will be offered a great feast. This is a Vaidika ritual. The person who sits as the Bhokta in this Ekotishtam will not be able to attend temple rituals for a year. Amudanar comes to Embermanar and asks him to show a suitable person to accept that offering. Embermanar asks Kuratalvan to go to that ceremony and accept those offerings. Kuratalvan being a devoted disciple fulfills the words of his Acharya. At the end of the feast, the person who accepted the feast should reveal his satisfaction. Only then the feast will be complete. When Amadanar asked Kuratalvan if he was satisfied, Alvan says he was not satisfied. When Amudanar asks what could bring satisfaction to him, Alvan says he needs the keys of the temple and the full control of the temple. Amudanar happily submits that in front of Alvan and Alvan brings that to Embermanar. Also, at that time, Embermanar, after taking control of the temple, offers the Prohityam Kaikaryam, which was done by Amudanar, to Kuratalvan. Embermanar offers the Kaikaryam of reciting Yerpa to Amudanar. Usually in Sri Rangam, Arayar Swami would be the one who will recite Divya Prabandham in front of Nambiramal inside the temple. Embermanar retained 3000 Pasurams for Arayar Swami and gave Yerpa recital to Amudanar. In this way, Embermanar continued with his reforms and brought Srirangam to great heights and Thiruvaranga Tamudanar was greatly cooperative to Embermanar's efforts after becoming a disciple of Kuratalvan. As Amudanar was having great devotion and respect and love towards Embermanar, he started composing a prabandham on Embermanar. This prabandham is known as Ramanusanutrandadi. This has 108 pasurams, and in each of the pasuram, the name Ramanuja is present. As the Prabandham was nearing completion, Amudanar was writing the final Pasurams. At that time, Embermanar arrives there. 
and spontaneously amudana recites the last three pasrams of the prabandham which were remaining at that time this is why for ramana sanutrandadi we have three pasrams being recited at the end during satumarai in other prabandhams we only recite two pasrams usually this ramana sanutrandadi is greatly glorified as prapanna gayatri as brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas all of them who have yajnopavedam have gayatri mantram which is recited every day this prapanna gayatri is compulsory for all the prapannas the surrendered ones who are in this ramanuja sampradayam shri vaishnava sampradayam every day at least one must recite this ramana sanutrandadi once minimum this ramana sanutrandadi was heard by bhagavan himself on a beautiful occasion towards the completion of a major utsavam brahmotsavam emberman on the final day of the utsavam orders emberman to return to his mat without participating in the procession at that time he orders ramanasa nutrandadi to be recited during the procession by the sri vaishnavas emberman hears ramanasa nutrandadi recital with great satisfaction this becomes a routine too as per bhagavan's orders emberman too understands bhagavan's divine desire and orders that ramana sanutrandadi is included as part of earpa this is similar to how kaninun chirutambu which was sung by madhur kavi alwar on nammalwar was included into the divya prabandham by purvacharyas this ramana sanatrandadi is greatly glorified by many acharyas such as nayana rachan pillai in his charmapaya nirnayam where he extensively uses these pasrams nadadu rammal a great acharya a great scholar highlights that emberumanar is the goal and the means for all shri vaishnavas based on the 45th pasaram perondru matrillai and 76th pasaram nindravan kirtiyam of this ramanasa nutrandadi prabandham this prabandham brings out charma parvanishtai that is prathama parvanishtai which is the initial stage where one is fully devoted to bhagavan and there is charma parvanishtai where the ultimate level of being fully dependent on acharya is emphasized just as madhur kavi alwar was fully devoted to namalwar here amudanar shows full commitment towards embermanar and many acharyas followed his nishta subsequently it is also well known that amudanar was a great expert in both tamil and sanskritam many of his explanations for divya prabandham pasrams are quoted in the commentaries by subsequent acharyas mamunigal to greatly glorifies amudanar pasrams in his works such as arti prabandham thus we have seen some glimpses 
of the glorious life of Thiruvaranga Thamudanar, who was a very dear disciple of Kodathalwan and was greatly devoted to Emperumanar. Alvar Emperumanar Jiyar Thiruvadigalai Sharanam Jiyar Thiruvadigalai Sharanam Please download our Koyil K-O-Y-I-L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store to listen to or download Upanyasans like these. Our website portal is koyil.org koyil.org